Welcome everybody, JMac here. Patch 2.2 went live a couple of days ago, and I wanted to make a summary video showing you guys exactly what ended up making it onto the live servers for the Witch Doctor class. We'll go over the abilities, the revamped class sets, and the Witch Doctor specific items. Maybe a couple other items that aren't specific to the class, but are key in certain builds. So let's get right into it with the abilities. First up we have Fetish Ambush, which is the Cold Fetish Army Rune. Each fetish deals 680% weapon damage as cold to any nearby enemies when it is summoned. This is up from 250% weapon damage. I was hoping this ability would be good in a Star Metal Kukri build, constantly resummoning the fetish army for AoE damage, but it just doesn't end up being as good as it looks on paper. The fetishes need to deal more AoE when they're summoned to really make it good. One point to make note of is that with the change to fetish sycophants taking on your highest elemental damage from gear when summoned, and the new Cold Zombie Dogs rune, you can make a dedicated Cold Pet build. It's not going to be viable for high level greater rifts, but it certainly could run T6 and maybe even up to 40-ish G rifts. I'm a big fan of build diversity, even if it's not at the highest level of content. So that brings us right into the new Haunt Consuming Spirit rune. The spirit now returns 4,291 life per second, which is up from 2,672 life per second. But most importantly, Haunt's damage turns into fire. This gives us the option of running a Fire Jade Harvester build, maybe even with a Maximus two-handed sword. Again, Fire Jade will be outclassed by other Jade setups, but running a Fire version could be absolutely viable in Torment 6. Next up we have the revamped Hex. Summon a Fetish Shaman for 12 seconds that will Hex groups of enemies into chickens. This ability previously would only Hex one enemy at a time, so potentially you can Hex an entire group of Elites. I really like it in some new Jade builds, running Wormwood for more crowd control, you could also make it viable in a Mask of Jerem pet build as well. A couple other things to note about the ability. They increased the maximum range for both hexing enemies and healing friendlies. Minimum time between hex casts by the Fetish Shaman was increased from 3 to 4 seconds. And the duration for which enemies can be hexed was reduced from 4 to 3 seconds. Next up, let's talk about the nerf to Spirit Walk. The cooldown was reduced from 15 seconds to 12 seconds, but the ability does not start its cooldown until after its effects expire. This hurts Jade Harvester builds the most by far. Prior to this change, it was much easier to spirit walk into a group of mobs and soul harvest, killing enemies and proccing Grave Injustice to reduce the cooldown of spirit walk. Now to get the same effect, you would have to let spirit walk end, then soul harvest to reduce the cooldown, which is risky to pull off being in melee range. This change still affects pet builds, but it's not a huge issue. Summon Zombie Dogs Chilled to the Bone. This is now a cold damage rune. Enemies who hit or are hit by your zombie dogs are chilled for 3 seconds and take 15% increased damage from all sources. Like we previously discussed, this is great in a full cold pet build and will also be very good while leveling up and gearing early on at level 70. Next we have the revamped Fetish Sycophant's Passive. When you hit enemies with your spells, you have up to a 15% chance to summon a fetish. This is up from 10%. What this change does is it makes other spells besides Reign of Toads viable for proccing fetishes, which is a welcome change. They also lowered the proc coefficient of Reign of Toads, but it is still very viable in pet builds as your fetish procker. Also, fetish sycophant's damage is now increased by your highest elemental damage type at the time of summoning. This is my favorite change this patch, and finally allows us to run any element we want in a pet build, not just physical. Obviously, in a game like this, certain element types and gear setups will outclass others, but up to 45 greater rifts, you should be able to make any element pet build work. Couple changes to Soul Harvest. Intelligence bonus granted by each enemy harvested increased from 2% to 3%. And then the skill rune Languish has been redesigned. Now increases your armor by 30% and reduces enemy movement speed by 80%. That's a pretty nice change to the rune. There's two runes they still need to revamp though that are really pretty much useless for Jade Harvester currently. Moving on to the improved Zunimasa set. Blizzard has added two new pieces to the set, gloves and pants. The two pieces now, your fetish army lasts until they die. Moving this to the two piece bonus is fantastic for the beginning of a season. You should be able to get two pieces of Zuni very quickly between farming and gambling with Kadala, and having permanent fetish army will be very powerful early on at level 70. The new four set bonus reads, you and your pets take 2% reduced damage for every fetish you have alive. It's great to see damage mitigation from the set, but I wish it wasn't tied to how many fetishes you have active. In softcore, if you die, it can be very problematic at times getting max fetishes back out to get the full benefit from this set bonus. 
And the new 6 set bonus reads, Enemies hit by your mana spenders take 275% more damage from your pets for 4 seconds. As I've talked about quite a bit in other videos, I still don't like the fact that you have to tag enemies for the extra damage. But with this being the case, mana spenders that sit in an area and continue to deal damage work the best, such as Piranhas, Spirit Barrage, Phantasm, and Acid Cloud, etc. Six Piece Zuni works quite well in Carnival Poison Dart setups because you don't have as many pieces vying for the same slot. You don't need to run items such as Tasker and Theos, so the gloves are easy to work into the build. Zuni is still quite good in standard Star Metal Kukri Ticklandian Visage builds, but will more than likely be outclassed by a Focus Restraint setup. The Zuni String of Skulls now always rolls 20-25% to Fetish Army damage as a fifth primary affix as well. Now let's take a look at the new Jade Harvester. The two-piece reads, when Haunt lands on an enemy already affected by Haunt, it instantly deals 10 seconds worth of Haunt damage. This gives the build great single target damage, I've seen this deal close to a billion on its own. It is also affected by the legendary bonus from the Quetzalcoatl Voodoo Mask. The four-piece reads, Soul Harvest gains the effect of every rune. Only three Soul Harvest runes are actually decent, Siphon being by far the best. Swallow Your Soul gives you some mana back, which is nice, especially if you're running Pierce the Veil, and Languish giving 30% armor and reducing the movement speed of affected enemies by 80%. The Soul to Waste and Vengeful Spirit runes basically do nothing for the build. I was hoping they'd revamp them before 2.2 went live, maybe next patch. The 6 set bonus amount of damage over time detonated was increased from 30 to 40 seconds, which is a pretty significant buff in damage. Overall, the set itself was buffed quite a bit, it's just going to take a bit of playstyle change to try to compensate for the nerf to Spirit Walk. Next up, we have some of the new Witch Doctor specific items and also some revamped items as well. The Belt of Transcendence, summon a Fetish Sycophant when you hit with a Mana Spender. These Fetish Sycophants are just like the ones from the passive, and that reads whenever you hit an enemy with a Mana Spender, you get a Fetish. So you don't have to rely on any kind of proc coefficient or anything like that. Recovering after Rift Guardian kills all of your pets in situations like that is much easier with this belt. It also allows for some two-hander pet build potential. Freeing up a passive while wearing the belt is also quite nice. Obviously a very good option in just about every pet setup, but I also really like it in Jade Harvester. You have 15 fetishes pretty much at all times tanking and soaking damage for you, and quite a bit of extra single target damage as well. The revamped Monculus. The time to summon a zombie dog to your side is reduced from 4 to 6 seconds to 2 seconds now. This gives you much higher uptime on 3 plus revoke the pack stacks, and also gives a bit more consistent AoE in Ticklandian sacrifice builds. It now also always rolls 20 to 25% sacrifice damage as a 5th primary affix. You're able to roll another skill percentage on it as well. So for instance, you could have 25% sacrifice damage, and 15% fetish army damage, or even double up on the sacrifice damage if you wanted to. The next new item is the Haunting Girdle. Haunt releases one extra spirit. This seems like a decent belt for Torment 6 farming, but there are quite a few other belts I would run over this in Jade for greater rifts. You're still only cast one spirit if there is only a single target on the screen, so it does not have any extra synergy with two-piece Jade Harvester. The Short Man's Finger is the Season 3 exclusive item for the Witch Doctor. It reads, Gargantuan instead summons three smaller Gargantuans, each more powerful than before. This is definitely a fun ring and will be great in Torment 6 and even up to about level 45 Greater Rifts more than likely. Unfortunately, the only Gargantuan rune that is really good is Wrathful Protector, and it has a small duration and long cooldown, so stacking cooldown reduction with this rune is a must. The other Gargantuan runes just don't deal enough damage currently. Even though the Focus and Restraint combo isn't specific to the Witch Doctor class, I felt it's worth mentioning because of its power. It's very good in pet builds not running 6-piece Zuni and is instead opting for Ticlanian Visage, Tasker and Theos, 2-piece Jade Harvester for more single target damage with Haunt, Spam, etc. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.